fall fashion 2022 is in full swing. What trends are in, what trends are out, what am I wearing, but what am I not wearing? It's all coming up next at Style at a Certain Age. Yes, trends. Some of us love them. Some of us have a love-hate relationship, which means we love to hate them. But whatever your take is, I think it's very important to stay modern, fresh, and relevant and stay on top of what is trending. So whether that's fashion, maybe it's a new app, television, movies, so very important, as I said, to stay abreast of what is current. So today we're taking a look at fall fashion trends, but I'm doing a little bit of a different take. So I'm sharing what I won't be incorporating into my wardrobe this year. And sometimes it's just as beneficial to see what we're not going to do as what we're going to do. So I've just chosen five trends and don't worry we don't have the fashion police roaming around here on the channel on a regular basis. This is just, you know, kind of a one off, as I said, because I've been thinking for the past several years, I used to love magazines growing up and into my, you know, I mean, really until they really kind of started disappearing. And one of my favorite segments was over on Glamour, and that was a do's and don'ts section. Absolutely just loved it every month to see, you know, the, the don't photo and they always, you know, put the, um, you know, some something over their face so you couldn't see who that person was. But I, but again, it was the visual of what not to do and then what to do. And I've really been thinking how I can incorporate that segment over on the blog and here on the YouTube channel. So I'm dipping my toe into the don't segment, but it's not going to be a very negative negative. Uh, it's just more of this is what's trending and it's not going to go into my wardrobe because again, to incorporate trends into your wardrobe, and that is especially true for a classic style dresser like me, and you may be one too, because we have the tendency to look stodgy and stale and stuck in a certain decade. And we never want to do that as women of a certain age. We want to stay modern. We want to stay fresh. We want to stay relevant. And that's where trends come in. Because when we pick one or two and add them into our wardrobes, it really does keep us very current. And I like to have an I like to say an 80-20 rule. So 80% of my wardrobe is made up of those classic items, the wardrobe staples, and then 20% are the trends that I think that will easily go into my wardrobe and then I incorporate those. So let's take a look at the five things I'm not going to wear this year. And the first one are oversized cargo pants, or some are, are referring to them as parachute pants. And I truly think that the oversized cargo pants, especially since they have pockets placed in strategic spots, really come off looking very clownish. And since they are oversized, and honestly, one of the things this fall, I mean, everything is oversized. And I'm going to talk about another trend that I'm not wearing right after this, and I see the oversized knitwear paired with the oversized pants. And it just really has this just, you know, I mean, it, the Michelin man look just truly, truly does. But what I do love, I've always loved cargo pants. So I do have those in my closet, but they're more of a streamlined look. And they really have that safari chic vibe going on. I have a very sporty, preppy aesthetic to my wardrobe, and I think that that's why I love cargo pants and will always love them. Ralph Lauren does an amazing job. This pair that I'm wearing right here is from Ralph Lauren, Banana Republic. Their early roots were that very safari chic look, so they tend to have cargo pants too. So I will be wearing that, especially when it's paired with just a simple, crisp, white blouse and a pair of beautiful shoes. And there you go, a very sporty but polished look. And the second trend I won't be wearing in fall 2022 is the oversized knitwear. 
And I briefly touched on that because I'm seeing that paired with the voluminous pants like the cargo pants. So the oversized knit, not to be confused with a chunky sweater or the sweaters that really are about mid, they hit about our mid thigh. So they cover our bum and look really amazing with a pair of leggings or a pair of skinny jeans. So two different things. The oversized knitwear that's very popular this year are the ones where the sleeves are going, you know, past our, our hands. You can't even see your hands. And where the shoulder seam is way past your shoulder. And it's just so voluminous and it's just so baggy. It's just not flattering. But what really is confusing to me are the, are the sleeves. You know, when, when I can't grab my coffee or I can't grab my handbag, I know that that's probably something that's not very practical and it's not going into my wardrobe. But what I do love, and especially in the fall and all through winter, are pulling out my sweaters from storage and putting them on. So whether that's a turtleneck or whether that is a cardigan, a longer cardigan, or as I, as I said, a chunky sweater or one that hits my mid thigh, they definitely are a big part of my wardrobe and I love to wear them. And the third trend that I'm skipping, a drum roll please, is a micro mini. Are you surprised that a 64 year old is not going to be wearing the micro mini? I mean, actually, I'm not even sure that any age group can truly pull this off. Now, does it look pretty cool on the supermodels with legs, you know, sky high, walking down the runway in their stilettos? It looks pretty chic and cool. But for practical reasons, I'm not even sure what lingerie you would wear underneath or how you would handle bending over or sitting down because fashion should be fun. Fashion can be very funky, but it also has to be practical. So I don't see the micro mini skirt being practical for any age group, but especially women of a certain age. But I do love skirts when fall rolls into town and I love to wear them with tights. I like to wear them with riding boots jackets, blazers. It's really a great alternative to your blue jeans or wearing a pair of pants. And I totally recommend having a skirt in your wardrobe, even if it's just one, just not the micro mini. And the next trend that I'm skipping in fall 2022 are the low rise baggy jeans. And the low-rise jeans, I think they were really big in the early 90s. I was a young mom then. I was like in my early 40s. So I really didn't embrace that trend back then. But you perhaps are in your 40s and you really did have that trend in your wardrobe at that time. So, and that was also when the thongs were really coming into vogue. And so that was really kind of a cool thing. They'd have the low rise jeans and they bend over and then you could see their thongs. So you're making two fashion statements at the same time. But this go around, they're low rise and they're baggy. And I am really not liking the two together. And honestly, again, just like the micro mini, there are very few women of any age that can pull this trend off. If you can, listen, my hat is off to you, but it's just not, in my perspective, just not a very classic or classy look. So this is definitely a trend that is not, not going to be incorporated into my wardrobe, but what I am liking are the high-rise baggy jeans. And this pair is from Banana Republic. And I purchased these last year. They actually call them the barrel jeans. So I just like to roll them up a little bit, wear them with a pointy toe boot, bring in a jacket, bring in a blouse, a sweater. I think that the high rise baggy jean does have a time and a place. And I am incorporating this into my wardrobe. And the last trend that I'm skipping in fall 2022 is the oversized blazer. And again, it's like the knitwear, so I don't want you to confuse it. There's a beautiful silhouette out that's a little bit longer this year, that's a little bit fuller, and actually it goes beautifully over a chunky sweater, whereas a regular fitting blazer wouldn't be able to do that. So 
but I'm not talking about that. I am talking about the oversized blazer. Again, it's like this oversized look this year. I mean, it's on steroids. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what the fashion houses are trying to uh, tell us or, uh, you know, what direction they want us to go. But the oversized look is really just a little bit too oversized this year. And that includes the oversized blazer that really looks like you borrowed it from your husband or your brother or your son that's at least six foot six and wears a size 48 blazer. That's how big these blazers are this year. So I am skipping that trend and instead just going for a little bit of an oversized blazer, as I said, that I can wear with my chunky sweaters and a pair of cool jeans and a pair of boots. So that's my list of what I'm not wearing in fall 2022. So I want to hear your thoughts. I want to hear what trends that you are loving this year. Maybe you like one, maybe you like none. Leave a comment down below. I love to hear what you say and I know other viewers do too. Of course, give me a thumbs up if you like the video and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.